everybody. I hope you're doing well. I have not been doing well. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. But I'm doing better. Not like a hundred percent better better, but you know. Not as bad as I was. Turn the music down a bit there. Ah, so I hope everybody has been doing better than I have. As I say, just like a shortage, I don't know how long it's going to be. Oh yes, hello Starly, hello uh, West in the chat there. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a short stream, not quite sure how long it's going to be. We'll have to find out. Um, I have... <laughs> things to show, tales to tell. Size and better boost, yes. Ah, yes, yes. Remember that one hit me hard. I mean, it, it could have been a lot of things happening all at once, which which got me. But <coughs> hello, chaos. I hope hope you're doing well too. Um, I don't know if anybody else can hear the kind of noise I can hear. I don't know if it's just like the, the laptop making a <coughs> squeaky noise or whatever. Well, let's try something here. If I shut this down, hopefully, maybe um, it'll uh, maybe stop making quite a horrendous noise. It's, it's not a horrendous noise specifically, but it's uh, a high pitch noise that I've kind of been noticing. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know, it's maybe the fans or something. <laughs> Gosh. They don't show off like that. Waving your privilege around like that, it doesn't do. It's not becoming. <laughs> it's a possibility this has stopped making the noise. So when I open up again, hopefully, it shouldn't start making quite as much of a noise, but if it does, then I'll have some idea of what it is. And it's just the way it ended. <coughs> the neighbours <laughs> have been mostly quiet for, you know, the, the most of the existence. And that's, yeah, I, I, I shut it and I opened it up again. It seems to not have been, not have picked up again, making a noise, so we shall see. But yeah, the neighbours, who are normally fairly quiet, <laughs> um, decided to make a a little bit more noise today. So if you do hear something, which you might do. Today's so party. It's this noise. If you can't hear this coming through the microphone, that is good. Um, <clears throat> the laptop here seems to be making noise. Maybe it always has made noise. Maybe I've just been away for, from streaming for so long. That just forgot it does or doesn't. But um <clears throat> yeah, I have to kinda of get back to this. Ah but one thing you may notice is this. A little advent calendar. I've been posting in my uh, Discord. If you're not part of my Discord then obviously you wouldn't have seen it. But I'm posting my Discord while I've got out of this. Basically it's uh, from a company called Candy Kittens who make Candy kittens, basically little little cat head shaped sweets, gummy sweets, which uh, have various flavors and things like that. The vegan, of course, I'm after the the vegan stuff here. And each of the little boxes on there, I I put together the tree, fold it all up myself, put it all together, and they come in. Uh, have little boxes like this, which are stuffed at the front. This is the one for today, the tenth. You can see here. I've already eaten. Sweeties that I put in here, but they also have little things written on the back. This one is all I want for so all I want is for someone to look at me the way I look at candy kittens, and I kind of took that to, to me. Do they want to be eaten? I mean, I'm not into that, but you no, know, no kink shaming or anything like that. So, <sighs> anyhow. This is my advent calendar. There's another thing that I've been wanting to do, which you may actually do, um, 
in a bit. Um, or now, actually, in fact. <clears throat> the thing that I've been wanting to do on stream since, like, you know, that I planned to do from the start of September. But I haven't had the chance to do, because obviously I've been very ill. Um, but maybe, so maybe when we get into story time for that, we can, we can have this ready for, for such a thing. So, <clears throat> I have this advent calendar here. If, if in advent calendars aren't, you know, um, things that you do in your culture or whatever, um, then, uh, the, the, the advent calendar is basically, it, the, the simplest form of it is like it's two sheets of cardboard, one with some doors pressed into it, and you kind of like open the doors on the numbered days to reveal a, a picture behind and you go, ooh, isn't that a nice picture? Ooh, isn't that a nice picture? Understandably, most people are kind of like blasé about, you know, those simple advent calendars nowadays, you know, they're, they're, they, you know, not, not the greatest and stuff like that. So a long while ago, somebody decided to decide to get, make like, instead of having like two bits of cardboard right up against each other, they tried to make like a, sm a, 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 a very thin box of cardboard and put a plastic sheet in there, which was vacuum formed into the shapes of, you know, various different things. So when you opened a door, you'd find one of these vacuum formed shapes. Thank you very much, Chaos. And in the vacuum formed shapes, they had melted some chocolate in there. So you'd get like a little bit of nasty chocolate every day. <laughs> Never was great chocolate that they put in the advent calendars, but you know. Um, and so that went on for a few years and whatever. And then people started getting a little bit more creative. Um, a few years ago, me and Starly had, and well, obviously we've got this one here, which has got sweets in, which is a DIY one, which looks like a tree, which is very nice. The, the one at the top, the pink box at the top is like the, the 25th day. And so on Christmas, I'll get to open up. Oh, gosh, missed it, that box. Yeah, it, it's, it's good having a chocolate every day, even if it's not great. It's like, it's, it's, it's yeah, never mind. <laughs> uh, it is good pulling, like, Christmas crackers as well, even though you get a little rubbish toy out of it. It's it's the fun that counts. You know, you just got to see how many of the little paper hats you can wear and things and see how many of the jokes you can actually laugh at. And it's, it's usually, like, very low. <laughs> But it's experience that counts. <laughs> loot box, yes, exactly. <laughs> a loot box for every day of December leading up to Christmas. And sometimes even Christmas Day itself. Um, did a loot box ever get in on that, actually, thinking about it? Loot box should have totally got in on that, shouldn't they? Um, but anyway, so a, a few years ago, me and Starly had... Um, um, advent calendars which had little boxes in and the little boxes had tea in them various different types of tea and I tried to look around for similar ones and there are similar ones um, the big problem though being that uh, a lot of them aren't vegan because they have honey and maybe some other things in and honey if you don't know is not vegan because bees have to do work to do that and you, you know if you're getting animals to do your work for you that's not the vegan way, and such like that. So, um, honey, it's not vegan. So these 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 kinds weren't vegan. I was like, I really want you know a different tea every day. I can maybe I could do like a different tea, at the start of every stream and stuff like that during December and stuff like that. And and so I bought got basically. <laughs> the time I found them thrown a lot in the harbour. Anyhow, I got myself <laughs> a box or tin of tea, um, which I checked these, um, are vegan, there's only nine different, uh, ones here, so it's not quite as, 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 you know, you know, 24 different ones or whatever, it's very cute, um, the 72 says, was it nine divided by 72, it's 80, isn't it, no, eight, isn't it, it's eight, isn't it? Um, so yeah, eight of each of those ones. So if I don't like any of them, <laughs> I guess I'm giving them to Starly or something like that. If there's any licorice ones, let me see. Well, let's see what they are. Let's see what I fancy today. And we can have one of those. So this is a very chill stream if you hadn't picked up already. <laughs> the very chill stream. I'm going to look at what tea I want. <laughs> I'm going to select a tea. Then I'm going to make a tea. <laughs> there may or may not be, I don't know. 
Um, I'm going to have to put some water in the kettle, I feel. Yes, the, the kettle is... Wait, who are you? I'm me. Who are you? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so let's see what we've got on here. Uh, we have gingerbread treat. We have organic black tea with cinnamon. Good start. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Cinnamon, ginger, apple, and cardamom. Who are you expecting? <laughs> um, but yeah, cinnamon, ginger. Cinnamon, ginger, very good. Apple and cardamom. I don't know. Boom, indeed. <laughs> um, so yeah, it says black tea in it. So I'm not quite sure when it comes to black teas on this, whether I'm going to want some milk or whatever alongside it. So we shall have to find out. Uh, even gives you tea brewing times on here, which is very nice. We can time it. <laughs> uh, but that's a good one. I am indeed having some tea. <laughs> we have... Oh, no, that was a gingerbread... Is... Okay, I'm guessing these are um, Christmas-themed. It's just it was just throwing me off slightly. I'm thinking we're going for, like, a Christmas carol here. But we've got a gingerbread treat, which makes sense here. Then we've got ghostly green. <laughs> this, this is good amount of teas. It smells pretty dang nice, I can tell you that. Um, <laughs> like I say, it almost smells like Lush. You know, the shop Lush, but <laughs> with, with less... Um, <laughs> all sounds bad. I am definitely not from Canada, no. Um, I've never been to Canada. It would probably be way too cold for me, to be quite honest. Um, but we have Ghostly Green, which is an organic green tea with cinnamon. Gin, cinnamon how do you say that word? <laughs> cinnamon, there we go. Ginger, peppermint and rose petals. We're getting very fancy there. <laughs> um, so that one's a pretty good one. Got some peppermint. Peppermint, cinnamon, ginger. Interesting combination, but... I'm sure it works. We have White Wonderland, which is an organic white tea. Not sure I'm familiar with them, but anyway. Cinnamon, once again. Cocoa, wow. Peppermint, licorice, here we go. Hot tea is basically, yeah. Uh, so here we go, uh, Starly. If I don't like these, then, uh, or I can maybe like bring one or two along, just because I've got, you know, eight more of them, or seven more of them, technically. Um, anyhow. Um, organic white tea with cinnamon, cocoa, peppermint, licorice, and chamomile. Well, it sounds very fancy, doesn't it? Chamomile. <laughs> uh, we have festive spice. Oh gosh, I'm trying to arrange things here. Festive spice, which is organic black tea with cinnamon, orange. I'm going to keep saying cinnamon wrong. <laughs> Lots of sleepy teas. Ah, maybe you don't want a sleepy tea right now. Um, so the festive spice is black tea with cinnamon, orange, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and pepper. Uh, interesting one. We have a winter warmer, which is organic rui I don't know how you say this. Rui Rui The Rude Boys. The scar, isn't it? That's the scar thing, isn't it? The Rude Boys. Stiles gonna slap me on feel. <laughs> Anyhow, the Rui Rui Boss herbal tea with ginger, cocoa, star anise, and mace. Rubos. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, mace. <laughs> Is that the same kind of <laughs> mace? Uh, but ginger, star anise could be interesting. Um, oh, we have another one here, Superstar Anise. <laughs> See, I don't like that one. I, I won't like this one. Uh, black tea, ginger, cloves, and star anise. That, that's definitely going to be a strong flavour one right there. Um, what's this one? Tropical lemongrass. Very fancy. Uh, organic lemongrass herbal tea with peppermint, hibiscus, rosehip, chamomile, and apple. Okay. We have organic green tea. Oh, sorry. That's the lemongrass. The happy holidays. I will have to find out. I'll, I'll try at least one of them. I'll try one of at least all of them. However it works. Happy holidays is a green tea with cinnamon, pomegranate, nice, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and pepper. Interesting. And then a post-party refresh. What kind of party? 
the hangover or is it like a tea party kind of thing? Anyhow, we have organic green tea with cinnamon. Oh, gosh. Garcinia and acacia berry. What is Garcinia? Interesting. We'll have to look into that. Oh, it did say vegan as well down on the bottom here as well. So obviously I looked at the ingredients and stuff like that. Maybe even said it sort of said vegan, but sometimes, you know, it's mostly okay to see, well, at least for me, it's mostly okay to to see if it says suitable for vegetarians, scan if it says milk, honey, whatever. And then if, if it does contain those, obviously you can't have it. But if it doesn't say any of those, then it's like, well, it's probably okay. And they've intended to make it without those kind of things. So unless there's something I'm missing in all of that. But anyway, it's, the pro it's a product of the English tea shop, the Devonshire House in Devonshire Street in London. Of course, I <laughs> couldn't keep on with the Devon thing going on there. London's a little bit further away from Devon, <laughs> if you don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking of going from like this, this first one or so. Um, the second one, we've got, is it black tea or green tea? Cinnamon, ginger in both. Got peppermint and rose in the in the green tea, and then apple and cardamom in the black tea. Um, I'm thinking. So one of those two. Let's go for the ghostly green. Why not? Which is obviously the green tea with cinnamon, ginger, peppermint, and rose petals. And it's even sealed still. I haven't haven't opened it up yet. So let us dig in, open them up. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm, gosh, that's that's a smell. You've got some stuff on the inside here. What is this? I have Sh <coughs> Sri Lankan tea experts, apparently. From farm to cup, we take joy in caring for the planet and enriching the lives of our community every stage of the tea journey. There we go. So I think it's unethical to throw this in the harbour chaos, so don't do that. Um, we have some fancy things here. We have a little window, so it's kind of like an advent calendar, which is nice. Uh, yeah, it looks like they are saying eight of each, so that's good. So it's, it's kind of like an advent calendar. Um, so let's, let's have a slightly advent calendar experience here. We've got the ghostly green, which we're going to have. It does say on here, ghostly green, master blender tasting notes. Gosh, very fancy here, aren't we? A ghost in a cup <laughs> with a great fragrance and a brisk, sharp cup with fresh peppermint, a hint of spices and an overtone of roses. Very nice. So we've got a little person on here running away from somebody throwing a snowball at them. Over here, somebody doing a snowboard down here. Um, a little bird up here. It looks like it might be a robin, but it's a bit long for a robin, really. Uh, and some antlers and some snowflakes and things like this. Gosh, is this the, is this the leftist calendar? It's got so many snowflakes on it. <laughs> Anyhow. What was that voice? Anyhow. We have the ghostly green. Let us have a look and see. You find behind the ghostly green door. <laughs> it's like the the play school or something like this. Like, what's behind the ghostly green door, everybody? Oh gosh, open it up nicely. Bend it back a little bit, and here we go. Basically, we got some tea bags and some sachets. Ugh. So I'll have to take this sachet away. <laughs> Actually, I won't fly. I would have to myself sachet away. I'll get myself a um, a vessel with which to drink out of, and some water to put in the kettle. I might do the kettle first, so then I can like multitask. So hold on, everybody. And we need some tea making music, don't we? Hang on. <laughs> get ready, everybody. We got some tea making music. What's it going to be? Uh, this is gonna be the tea making music just for the fun of it. Why not? Tea making.
The tea is now, oh sorry, the water is now cooking. I have to wash my mug. just chatting or something like that but you know I don't want to attract any <laughs> any undesirables so oh gosh I didn't check my oh information I'm, I'm, I'm rushing well ahead here so the ghosty tea apparently uh, tea brewing two to three minutes So, a little sachet which I've opened up here. We have the fancy little oop, oop, string with tea bag on the end. Sounds very good. So, we put the uh, tea bag in the mug. <laughs> Drop this over the edge just so it doesn't, you know, we know to, where to find it. Uh, grab our water. Put in enough. Try not to burn ourselves. Let's do that much. And we have to give it two to three minutes. What does that mean? <laughs> two to three minutes. We can split the difference. Two and a half. That's when the alarm goes off. We need to get our tea ready. A ghostly green tea. It should have a very nice smell to it. So you have to be able to appreciate the flavour and the taste of the ghost. <laughs> Right. So while we're waiting for our tea to brew, it's better than watching paint dry, because you know, at least only two, two to three minutes. Um, I'm going to have to pop off, um, actually, to uh, dispose of the tea bag, aren't I? Um, but when when we do that. So let's put some 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 more music on. What have we got on the time? We have one minute twenty. So we put something to like three minutes. Uh oh why not? Let's go for this one. No Amiga stuff today though, unfortunately. But our alarm's gonna go off in the middle of this. I'm gonna have to hop off and get rid of the tea bag and then we come back. Let's see if we can taste those notes of ghost 
in the in the tea. <laughs> ah. And then I can talk about uh, stuff. BK do crimes indeed. Well then. Once we've done that, we can go on to some other stuff. Ah, I see. I see there, West. Let us have a look at that. It's apparently shiny Pokemon. Hang on. No, that's me. We're going to get onto that. Don't worry about it. Hang on. The alarm's going off. Everything's going off now. Oh, gosh. I think I broke things. Ah, we're not going to be two to three minutes. Hang on. There you go, this is tea. Anybody wonders? Tea. see it. Don't want to tilt it too much. There we go. It's a T. It's a little warm at the moment. So yeah, in here, there's green tea, cinnamon, so a little bit spicy there, ginger, a little bit spicy there, peppermint, a nice minty flavour, and rose. So yeah, a couple of spicy bits, bitter mint, and a hint of rose, so rosine, I don't know. <laughs> through in the smell. Definitely smell a kind of spiciness to it, I think, but it's, it's kind of getting a lot of mint. Not really getting any rose there, but let's have a little sip. It's not too warm. Maybe I need to make it cool down a bit, because that just tastes like water. <laughs> All I got is just a tiny bit of a taste of, of, of water. Yeah. I'm getting a bit of the... Um, Bit of the mint coming through there as well. I need to, to cool down a little bit to be able to appreciate it, I think. But hi, everybody. That was Katie makes a cup of tea. <laughs> um, so, yeah, basically gone over those two calendars. Maybe we can check some of the, the other teas and some other days as well. Perhaps I'll prepare it in advance. <laughs> then but uh since this was like a fairly chill stream i thought you know 
we can get a we can prepare a tea. Um, so I think I mentioned uh, previously that I was going to be about a secret quest last week, but my secret quest was delayed. I should hopefully be about my secret quest next week, and then I should be able to tell you all about it. I mean, I think a few people who watch know anyway, but, you know, um, I would be able to tell the wide world if anybody in the wide world is 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 is, is wanting to listen. Um, but yeah, so I um, will be about my secret quest hopefully next week. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so I've got, got that, so I'm just going to arrange, arrange things here. Um, I do have a request here from, uh, obviously Starly still to do the alien isolation, which, you know, obviously I was planning to do <laughs> during my Christmas uh, break and stuff like that. Um, hopefully we'll be able to pick it up, um, maybe from next week or something like so, so. Um, but uh, as for the Amiga magazines, which I want to try and get, uh, you know, all the ones running up to the uh, the downfall of Commodore um, done before... Um, you know, Christmas and that. Don't think that's going to get done. We have to wait until after Christmas to find out if Commodore goes bankrupt. Spoiler: they do. Uh, um, but yeah, so there's, there's going to have to be pushed off because I kind of said I want to get some other things in and done and such like that. So you know, um, yeah. So those are going to have to be pushed off because obviously I didn't expect to be as ill as I was for quite as long as I was. Um, if you don't know, let me just like tell you a tale of Katie being ill. So, gosh, let me just bring my calendar actually and have a look here. So, let's see. So I had... Well, I did a slight part of my secret mission when I visited Scarlet, I'm sorry, Starly, <laughs> um, a little while ago. Um, and uh, I uh, got back from that. And you know, very soon after getting back from that, I had my vaccine booster shot. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, and then I did some other things as well. Not really slowing down much. And then uh, the week after that, I think it was when I was actually due... Yeah, the week after that was when I was due to to go and see um, Stally and Co. again um, to complete my secret mission. But that didn't work. Sorry, my calendar is being annoying at the moment. Can I please just look at my calendar? Thank you here. So, yes. So I was doing my, my secret quest or part of my secret quest. Got my vaccine booster shot. Didn't really, like, slow down. Was feeling a bit, you know, off and whatever, because I had, like, some days off during those uh, weeks as well. And then the, when the the mon next Monday came around, when I was supposed to be going to, to complete my quest, I uh, felt quite ill. Um, and I had a COVID test. Don't worry, it wasn't that. Um, but, yeah, it's very ill, very sore throat, very congested, very sensitive to light, very all not not great things happening. Um, and, uh, it took me about a, a week to feel relatively normal. And I think, you know, this is still within the second week I am now. And, um, kind of, you know, I, I felt yesterday, maybe I was kind of like getting back to normal. Went out yesterday, my facial hair removal. You may be able to see some of what was done over there. Um... On this side of the face, I mean, not not, not like over there. <laughs> on this side of the face. <laughs> Maybe let's see some of what was done yesterday. Um, and so, you know, driving there for, you know, it took a little longer than usual. Well, I, at first I had a bit of a panic about something, which uh, I should get these prepared to talk to you about. <laughs> These relate to something. <laughs> so, first off, I had a little bit of a panic. 
then it took about like 50 minutes, usually it's like 40 minutes or so to, to get to this place. But then it took like 50 minutes to drive to the place. Then I had to lie there and get to see me on my face electrocuted for like an hour. And then I drove back for another uh, 50 minutes. And at that point, my body was going, no, you're not quite, you're not quite well, you know. Um, so, uh, I, I am still slightly recovering, but as you can see, I am able to, to do what I'm doing now, at least. Um, and, uh, and so yeah, there's a couple of things to, to go on to. We'll get on to this. This is in my hand. I'd hopefully not, not forget it if it's in my hand, but also you saw this. Now, are you ready for... Possibly one of the worst impressions I've ever done. <laughs> uh, let's bring this back up. Oh, gosh. I know I'm deathly staring into the camera here, but uh, sorry about that. Um, but uh, if we turn volumes up, I think the volume is up on here. Uh, please enjoy. Oh, I can't hear that. I can't hear that. Hang on. Uh, no, I can't hear that. Why can't I hear that? We're on mute for some reason. Why are we on mute? Now let's try and hear it. Hi, I'm mostly recovering from <laughs> being ill at the moment. But I thought... I'd... I don't know if you can hear that. So let me actually just turn it up the full whack here so you can, so you can hear it. Hi, I'm mostly recovering from <laughs> being ill at the moment. But I thought I'd record a quick video to give you an idea of exactly how I sound right at this moment. <laughs> uh, Homer! <laughs> Not quite March Simpson, is it? But it's getting close there. Um, but yeah, uh, this is... <clears throat> you know, this is actually on another uh, Monday. <laughs> oh gosh, that was a, a thing, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, so this is when I'm mostly feeling okay in the body and stuff. You can see my eyes kind of like whatever maybe um but yeah this is oh my <laughs> ah, i'm feeling okay in myself maybe a little bit you know just tired of the normal which is you know tired as it is um but uh yeah you can see the voice is is <laughs> is having his trouble <laughs> so anyway See, that was Monday just gone. So that's why I wasn't streaming before now. <laughs> that's Monday just gone. Um, and so Hi, I'm go mostly to recovering from... <laughs> my terrible impression. ...being ill at the moment. But I thought I'd record a quick video to give you an idea of exactly how I sound right at this moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, Homer, ah... Uh, <laughs> Homer, 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 Homer. <laughs> ah, yes, that was me trying to <laughs> to point out that I kind of sounded a bit like Marge Simpson in a way, but I did the worst Marge Simpson impression whilst having <laughs> a reasonably similar voice at that point. Um, so we go. There's that. There's the T again. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let me pop back over to, to here. So, yeah, so I, as I said, that was, that was Monday and that was when I was feeling, you know, as I said, quite a bit better than I already was. Um, so you can imagine how I, um, how not well I was. Hello, <laughs> Oh, Homer, what are you doing? Working at that nuclear power plant, Homer. <laughs> Should be more like, homie, and stuff like that, shouldn't it really? But I, I just completely forgot what anything that Marge Simpson would have said. I mean, she's not like, eat my shorts, is she? <laughs> Don't have a cow, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. That's my home... Marge Simpson impression. <laughs> Ooh, 
getting much more of a mouthful there. <laughs> Tastes like tea. <laughs> getting some of that uh, minty flavour to it. It's like the ginger and what was it? I'm not sure. I think that the, the mint is kind of like a lot of the flavour. Yes, yeah, cinnamon and ginger. Also rose petals. I don't know where the rose petals are hiding in there. I'm kind of getting... I suppose it's kind of like a ghostly flavour in a way. <laughs> so that waft of mint that comes over is, 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 is very like... There was a ghost passing by, and then, as I said, it's just kind of like the aftertaste you get is just water, which is very strange. <laughs> Maybe it's my taste buds are completely messed up from being ill, but I'm kind of just getting the aftertaste of, of water, or just like the, the green tea, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, you get that waft over of, like, the, uh, of the mint. Whatever. I shouldn't know what rose petals are like. I mean, I like the, what's it, the, the Turkish delight. They call it the little kind of jelly wobbly <laughs> things <laughs> with chocolate on. Or it, they, some of them have chocolate on. Some of them have like powdered sugar on and stuff like that, don't they? Ah, anyhow, let's get back to the clips. <laughs> it's the clip show. <laughs> ah, gosh. So I said I had a little panic before... Um, for uh, leaving. Boo! <laughs> Indeed. This is what you want the ghost tea for. Get a good boo out of that. Make sure it doesn't boo-earn. <laughs> Back at my desk now. That's easy enough to do. Take my candy kittens with me. <laughs> so I even have a little box that I can take away from my desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, no, my things are on screensaver for some reason over here. Let's get back over here. <clears throat> Anyhow, the clips. <laughs> what are the clips for? You might be you knowing. Give me a placard with your name on it though. Okay. Company property. Okay. <laughs> so I don't get to go to uh, strikes with that placard anymore. Dang it. Company taking all my fun away from protesting. You want the booty? <laughs> I don't think you're ready for that, Jelly. Uh, anyhow. <laughs> ah. Anyhow. <laughs> well, why the clips, Katie? Why the clips? Okay, so. Um, I went down to go get in my car to drive away, to do stuff to, yesterday. Um, pushed the little uh, button on the, the key fob to uh, open the, uh, whatever that is for some reason, being weird, <laughs> push the little button on the key fob to uh, make all the doors unlock on the car because it's fancy like that. <laughs> it's like nearly sort of 18 years old my car is now. <laughs> it's not very fancy. Um, anyhow, so they the push the little button on the thing, clock, 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 opens all the doors and stuff like that. Uh, this time it didn't do that. So I'm like, oh heck. <laughs> Pushed it a few more times just to make sure. Not doing. Um, tested the handles just in case it had and just forgot to tell me that it did. Nope. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was kind of a little bit, oh dear, what do I do? So I decided to go back inside. Um, tried to look through uh, the, the, the batteries that I have. Um, and I have like a, a bunch of these ones. Here, these little coin cell ones here, which you may be familiar with, going watches and, and other things such like that. Um, so I got one of these out, tried to fiddle open the, the key to get to the battery inside. And then when I opened it, I found out the battery inside was actually one of these. Let us do a comparison here. Can you spot the difference, children? Is there a difference between these two? Can you tell? <laughs> so, the 
that was even more of an oh no um both are, both are but you probably both wouldn't want to eat either of them for many reasons so um what i did at that particular time was just go about my way because i i knew that i could get into the passenger side car with just the key part of my key and then uh, open the 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 driver's door from, door from the inside go around and then get in then fortunately i mean i know that uh, keys have like electronic locks um and things like that they have you know stuff that c communicates with it to make like electronic keys and stuff and whatever but i was thinking oh no if the batteries run out is that gonna cause any problems no it started up fine um so if there is any kind of like electronic key thing going on it just like it's like one of these rfid things which you don't need to um it doesn't need to have its own power to to do it um anyhow if that is, if it is in there at all <laughs> which i don't know uh stars might be able to tell me but apparently she's uh not feeling so so hot herself so i hope she gets better by the way um soon I'm sure she's gonna get better but but soon is the most important part here um but yeah so I, I was like cool i can drive off and go to my appointment i texted the person saying sorry i'm gonna be just maybe a little bit late didn't actually end up turning up late which is good um and then when i went back it's like well how do i actually close all the doors now because there only seems to be one keyhole on the side of my car um because yeah, when I actually was at the the place, they have like um, a driveway there. There's not, you know, many. Uh, so I don't assume there's many people around who who be looking to to steal cars, and the the person would be able to who was doing my uh, facial hair removal could actually see my car from the window in which she was doing, you know, the 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 the, the operation. Not quite an operation, but you know, it's kind of in a way. But anyway, she could she could see my car from where she was. Is is the point? Um, so she could keep an eye on whether anything was happening and such. Um, so yeah, I, I, when I got back here though, it's like, well, I can't really leave it over, overnight just outside with, with the lock. So I had to figure out some way to, to lock it again. And so what I did, since I didn't have the right size battery, is I got the much bigger battery, uh, figured out which terminals they connected, they would need to connect to from inside, you know, clipped the green one to one bit, a, 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 a white one to one bit, remembered which one had to go to the the middle, which one had to go to the outside, um, and then went outside with the, the key fob and these bits clipped onto it and everything, and just like tap on whatever, not tap, I had to actually hold it on there and then like click the button as well, so it was a little bit awkward. Um, but I did that, and then it opened all the doors, and I was like... <laughs> That's kind of what I want, but kind of not. <laughs> so I pushed it again, and then it closed all the doors. <laughs> ah. So I had much of a... Much of a fun time. Fun time. Uh, yesterday. And that's what the crocodile clips were about. I just have them more relaxed with my ghosty tea here. So it's a good flavour, but the aftertaste just kind of evaporates. <laughs> like Coe's so safe. Anyhow. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of like that one. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it worked and it was like, I obviously checked the, the voltages. It's like three volt battery, three volt battery. Cool. That'll work. Um, uh, but yeah, it's just like the, the actual form factor of it is not quite quite right. Um, but before um, I go, I wanted to at least mention, mention, mention one more thing. Oh, it's in my um, in my thing. I saw somebody bring this up um, on their Twitter. I think it was, if you know, um, um, some of the streamers and stuff like that who <laughs> who aren't part of our little group and stuff like that to mention this very nice to see you. thank you very much it's very nice to be be seen again as well <laughs> not in a narcissistic way but you know um but some people might know of uh liz star oh, thank you very much chaos um i think it was on her um 
Twitter that I saw this mentioned or indeed just included. And it was like, gosh, that is so much like me. I mean, we already kind of have an idea that I'm neurodivergent in some way. We guess it's autistic. Um, but also, <laughs> there is some crossover with ADHD and autism. <laughs> And as it says at the bottom, this is not a tool for diagnosis. So please do not take this as a tool for diagnosis. But can you spot as many things on here? Let's just go through the list from top to bottom, left to right, and see. A variety streamer? <laughs> Why gosh. Why gosh, is Katie a variety streamer? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Do, 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 uh, do, I mean, I play different types of games. <laughs> I think that's exactly what the variety streamer is, isn't <laughs> Also do some talking things and some nonsense and other things and whatever. Ah, who am I? Indeed. I, mean, I, in fact, I got the question earlier in the, the stream as well. <laughs> I'm beginning to doubt who I know who I am. Um, anyhow, so variety streamer. I can take that one off. Hyperfixate on one game for weeks before dropping it completely. Does anybody want to say dizzy? <laughs> it, there's, there's, there's a possibility that dizzy falls into that, isn't it? Um, <laughs> there's a few that come up like this in this, in the, uh, this next one here. Alerts derail story time. Well, yes, of course they do. <laughs> These big noisy things going off. Of course they're going to derail story time. Uh, anyhow. <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> I mean, if, it, if that isn't just my life. So as I have said that before, actually, on stream, haven't I? It's like, uh, what was that comment about? What did I say? Oh. Ah, moving on, moving on. View account hidden. You may not know because I don't... You can't see what I'm looking at and whatever, but my view accounts are indeed hidden. I don't need to know how many people I'm watching and stuff like that. Um, for... For various different reasons, uh, using chat as a memo pad. Now I don't do that frequently, but I have done it. <laughs> it's maybe once or twice that I can remember that I did do it. I can't remember exactly what for, but there's definitely once or twice that I have done it. And I feel like maybe um, West has maybe picked up the slack on being the, the notepad for chat a couple of times as well. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but anyway, late. <laughs> Gosh, am I ever late for streams? I've never been late for one stream. Because <laughs> I'm late for them all. <laughs> now, sometimes I'm on time. But I am, um, notably, late for streams. Uh, reading comments out loud, of course, you know, I don't read out all the comments out loud. But, you know, if I want to have people get an idea of, um, you know, what I'm actually talking about and stuff like that, then I will read the comments out loud. And sometimes if I'm just, like, having trouble processing things, <laughs> then sometimes I do have to uh, read things out and such like that. Uh, getting lost even with a map or a compass. I do that in real life. I don't need streams to do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's ask Starly. Starly! IRL! <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever got lost even with a map and the compass and <laughs> GPS? <laughs> yes, I can get, even get lost with GPS. <clears throat> it says, can you speak slow? I'm not quite sure what this is referring to. Is that like me speaking to people or people speaking to me? <laughs> I can understand it fully. I've never gotten lost in my life, no. I can fully understand it if if that's people talking to me. Like, can you speak slower, please, Katie? You're going a mile a minute here. There's, uh, yeah. But also, there's a certain amount of audio processing issues that I do have and uh, may indeed at some times want people to, to speak slower. Um, this one. Sorry, I, for sorry, I forgot to DM back. Gosh. I, I don't know, just... 
I don't know if I say that specifically. <laughs> I know I don't always DM back of people and whatever, but uh, you know, other people are best to, to in a position to to say whether this is like me or not. So I mean, like Starly, it's about you. The streamer talking too fast. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Then. So yeah, I, I, I yeah, I definitely get that. So for this one. <laughs> Could never do such a thing, indeed. So I'm um, maybe like talk to Starly Chaos, maybe. Um, sorry, I forgot to DM back. Do you think that that's applicable to me? Or I mean, this is me. I'm not actually quite sure. Sh- quite sure on this one myself here, because I think part of the, the things which I will say, yeah, part of the the things I'll say on this, which are kind of it's more you, I, possibly, yeah. Um, but part of things on this which are kind of like maybe I don't do this so much a lot of that is balanced out because of anxiety we'll get onto the point here but this the first time I've got to DM back um, I would be like so worried that I wouldn't DM somebody back that I'd make a note to DM people back so that I make sure that I would so my anxiety is kind of making the sh- up the shortfall of my um, neurodivergence and stuff like that Untitled PNG video dot mp4 song dot mp3. Well, as I said, I don't do this so much, but that's because my anxiety kind of evens it out. I have in the past done things a bit like this. Um, I mean, there there is obviously where they don't need to be labeled. I've got a uh, actual. Uh, it's got a file here which. It's basically not less likely untitled, but they're just the basically the standard title, you know, the date and time stamps on on the videos. Basically, when I do before I stream, I do a little video test just to make sure that you know the mic and the camera and everything's working fine and such like that. Um, so all those little ones, they they don't have names on them mostly, unless they were very in, important to to pick out to make sure to watch um, on stream later or such like that because they were kind of amusing in some kind of way. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so sorry, I distracted myself by going through some different, uh, folders here. So let me just go back to where I was and then go back here. Um, yeah, that's the last thing that was on there at least. Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, sometimes I kind of would do this, but as I say, it's the anxiety balancing out the file and file two, file, file, file yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of done that with like my songs. It's like, um, though I did like put date stamps on them instead of, um, you know, final, 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 whatever things. But if it wasn't like this album, which I've been working on for a long time and I wanted to make sure that I was getting the right version, as I said, the anxiety balancing out again, um, then it might have been like, you know, mix, 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 actual mix, full mix, <laughs> you know, and all that kind of stuff like that. It probably would have been along those kind of lines and stuff like that. But yeah, if, if I've. If I don't think I want to look at things later, then they will get just like standard um, names and things like that. But if I if I know that I'm going to need to refer to it, the anxiety creeps up and it's like, I have to label this. Uh, free box? Yay. <laughs> calling you out more uh, than me. Well, it, it is still calling me out. I mean, from all the ones I read out so far, it's it, it's been doing a lot of calling out for me, I feel. Um. Uh, uh, um, and like, yeah, yeah, I definitely do, definitely do those kind of things. Losing focus midstream. I have never once forgotten what I was talking about. (laughs) Uh, new project always on the go. Oh, really, it's the bane of my life. (laughs) There's so many things I've, I've, I've started and I want to finish. Or at least make some progress in. And yet. Midstream tangent. Do you know, I think this alerts derail story time, this losing focus midstream and this midstream tangents. They're all related. What do you say? <laughs> what do you say to this, Tracy? Do we get the d- diverted uh, in the middle of the stream? Um, I think maybe we can, yeah. Hey, everybody, by the way, it's been a long time since I've seen you all. Hi. Nice to see you, everybody. So, 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 Tracy, do we do we go on like midstream tangents of things? Um, yeah, I think we definitely do go on midstream tangents. Really? Um, do, do you have any kind of example of a midstream tangent? Um, 
like this really isn't it <laughs> pretty much exactly like this yeah um so whenever something pops into my head then it is it, it, just like oh let's do this yeah it's a good thing you did because people might not have seen me otherwise because you might have forgotten and that's that's not a good thing because people need to see their tracy hi everybody this is tracy yay hi everybody it's nice to see you i'm glad that i can say hello to everybody and stuff like <sighs> <sighs> Tracy needs to remember to breathe. <laughs> Tracy does need to remember to breathe. And I, I I definitely do get that occasionally, especially when I've been ill over the past um, uh, couple of weeks or whatever. Then, you know, since you know, I've had the, the cough and, and all that other kind of stuff, then um, <clears throat> it's uh, definitely um, been more of an, an issue. I mean, I, I think um, Starly has said previously that uh, the only rule in... Uh, her household is that uh, it's mandatory to breathe. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I was almost failing at doing that over the past couple of weeks, really, because, you know, I was using, trying to do what I would normally do, even though I was like really not uh, quite well and stuff like this, and realizing that I didn't really have the breath to do such a thing. Yeah, that's not a very good thing to do. Uh, can you just put me on full screen for the moment? Okay, hang on, wait a minute. Let me get you over here. So this is uh, full screen, Tracy. And, uh, well, why, why do you want to do full screen? Because I just want everybody to appreciate me in full screen. <laughs> that's that's, that's, uh, that's a very good thing to, to do there, Tracy. Yeah, and by the way, I think I've got a, uh, a question here. We have one from a, a Ninja of Chaos. Ooh, uh, first time caller? No, I think they've, they've called um, uh, quite a lot. And once again, back to the bingo. What is that in relation to... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, anyhow, so <clears throat> Ninja of Chaos, many times caller, many times listener, many times watcher, says if you made a dino related video game, what would it be? Oh gosh. Um gosh I lie, I know I know, don't know lots of um dino games. I mean I know I've kind of played like Solitaire and stuff like that. Um uh, so having like a Tracy face or some other my other friends' faces on on on, on some cards would be good um, on the fronts and the backs of course as well um, or maybe the backs can be like trees and things like that and then and then the fronts can be like I can be on like the the queen like like that or maybe like maybe like that or something like that. Um, but yeah, solitaire would be a good one or or we could do like some super dino. Uh, friends or something like that um, and then I could like be jumping up and down boop -de boop -de boop -de boop and if I jumped on a Goomba I'd be like oh sorry Goomba I sorry I didn't mean to just to death up on you and stuff like that I, I apologize and then the Goomba would go like oh it's okay Tracy it's absolutely fine I'm I'm okay I'm used to being jumped on this is my role in the video game you see I mean this is like a fake block and when you jump on me I kind of just like sink into the block it's absolutely fine Tracy don't worry and I'll be like oh, okay hey, that's fine and then I go on to like the next one I jump on the turtle and be like oh dear sorry turtle and the turtle will be like no this is okay I mean this is fine Tracy this is absolutely okay and then I like knock the turtle and they go bounce 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 and I'll be like, oh no what have I done turtle and the turtle will be like no that's absolutely fine Tracy I'm quite happy doing this and then and all that kind of thing would go on and then and, and, and it would kind of be exhausting really <laughs> sound like it would be very exhausting um, so I think we've uh, answered that question we also have from Starly24 oh I know her hello Starly <laughs> indeed uh, we also have Starly can you wish stars get well soon <gasps> Get well soon, stars. I, I heard before that you weren't feeling all that great because of the 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 the, 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 the people stabbing you in the arm with the, the the stuff to make you not get so sick if you got caught got stuff and stuff like that and 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 Katie had that kind of thing and she wasn't feeling so great for a little while and then and then and then and, and, and it's all okay and I I hope you get better soon and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, get better soon. Yeah. <laughs> um. Cool. So we got that one marked off. Here is the. Uh as well um in, in in that is there anything else that uh you should say for uh believing here and <laughs> and uh no problem at all stars <laughs> and um <laughs> stopping this diversion oh yeah we were diverting weren't we <laughs> we were doing a bit of a diversion and we, we did a very good at being a diversion yeah i'm a very good diversion 
hello everybody i mean goodbye everybody i'll see you later um hopefully soon bye and that was tracy A very very strange tea as i said the so you get flavor and then the flavor just kind of like drops out and you're just left with like a mainly a kind of watery kind of taste it's it's very odd maybe that's only that's much my experience of it but it'd say it was a ghosty tea didn't it maybe i'm gonna have to try one in <laughs> maybe a few weeks time when i hopefully i'm i'm feeling a lot better and stuff like that and we can see if i can actually uh have a different experience with that one Anyhow, now that we've got full, thoroughly distracted, <laughs> we were looking through this, weren't we, everybody? Uh, so losing focus means, yeah, where are we? Here, midstream tangents, that's where we were. Losing finals, yeah. As I said, it's the anxiety thing that kind of comes up as well, just, it's just it stops me doing this. I mean, there's probably files on my hard drive, which I have no idea where they are, because it's like, this is a sensible place to put them. And then just kind of, Forgetting what the sensible place is that I would have put them if I would have put them there. Because, <laughs> you know, people say, like, if you if you think you want to lose something, like this, 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 this cube here, it's like, where is the first place you would look for this? And it's like, well, yeah, that's the first place I would look for it. But then if it's not there, I'm completely lost. <laughs> or if it's not in the first place, I think that I, I might look like it's like maybe in this drawer or something like that. Maybe I put it in there. It's like, if it's not in there and it's, it's, it's whatever. It's just like... I have no idea, because the, the the places which I think I'd put them, it's not there. Um, but yeah, generally, um, I don't know. I don't think I do this too much. As I said, the kind of the I think anxiety like balances it out. Oh, I you like to probably push this up. Oh no, well that's a shame. I'm not quite sure how I pushed myself or whatever, but um, let's carry on here. We've got uh, massive folders of unsorted files. Kind of. I mean, as I said, the anxiety kind of, like, you know, um, fights against that as well. Um, so, I mean, this is kind of like the same thing as this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but uh, anyhow, we've got uh, fidgeting and restless. I mean, maybe people who are watching the stream might, might know more than me. How much would you say I would be fidgeting and, and being restless and and things like that. Thank you very much for the follow there. Um, but yes, this is kind of a general question. I said, I don't know. I don't know if I do too much fidgeting and stuff like that, but. Uh, I do feel like, like my uh, tea, indeed, that is tea. Um, if you possibly weren't around, <laughs> you can see the, the box of tea that I have here. And this is the ghostly green tea, so with with hints of ghost. <laughs> What's it's on here? The master blender tasting notes are a ghost in a cup with a great fragrance and a brisk, sharp cup with fresh pe peppermint, a hint of spices and overtone of roses. I'm really not getting the, the spices on this, though. Quite getting a lot of the mint. Getting a bit of the tea and stuff like that, but, you know, I don't know. Um... But anyway, so yeah, if, if other people don't have any comments to make on that, we can move on. Forgets to eat, <laughs> we'll go to the toilet before stream. Hmm. Well, do I forget to eat? <laughs> Starly, do I forget to eat? Anyhow, moving on. <laughs> Accidentally ghosts on a collab. I don't think I've ever done that as well, because I said it's, it's the same. Um, it's the same thing with the anxiety. It fights against that and, and such like that. Um, I'm, I'm okay at the moment. I had food before this stream. <laughs> I remember to do so, and I'm not thinking of going on for, for too much longer. I, I do need to to give it a bit of rest. I don't think I'm very restless. That's okay. I don't have the energy to be restless anyway. <laughs> um, uh, anyhow, uh, one song on loop for hours. I mean, if it's part of the game, I can tune it out. But I don't necessarily put a song on to be listened to for hours and hours and hours. Uh, turns down the volume to think clearer. There's a possibly a bit, uh, a bit of truth into into that and stuff like that. Oh, 
<laughs> telling me to uh, relax and stuff like that. It's 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 uh, <laughs> it's possibly a um, possibly a lost cause. But uh, thank you very much for the <laughs> the sentiment. Trying to focus. Okay, yeah, I don't know if I'd do that um, so much myself. Uh, but the turns I'm wanting to think clear. I mean, certainly, as I said, with like audio processing kind of issues and things like that, it does need to be maybe a little bit quieter to to focus on things. This one's addicted to Twitter and social media. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 uh, I, I go through phases of what I'm addic addicted to. Maybe you could call them special interests and stuff like that. So I don't think it's, don't think it's quite this kind of thing that they're trying to, uh, to talk about here. But anyway, I'm going to finish off this, this bit of tea here before it goes uh, cold. Getting peoples. <gasps> Gosh, I have a few people here. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Gotta finish off the tea, because you don't want it to go too cold. So um that is that. Uh before I go, I'm not gonna I'm only gonna do like one thing of uh this, but it's kinda like a thing that I wanted to um show. This is the uh tea thing. <laughs> this is the uh thing here i've got to find the window which that is in because i had another thing which i just wanted just to show and this is not going to take too long uh, maybe only i'll do one of these um here but there's a thing which i found recently now <laughs> you may or may not know that i'm um kind of into puzzles and things like this um um i know I, I i tried this one of these recently it's quite fun but i'm not really very well practiced at it but what i haven't practiced at is like this second one here this neurocabe one here and this is like a puzzle database thing it's called puzz.link slash db i know i know i know but i just want to, to show off this and you can go through the different versions here and this is the the neurocabe here one so if i highlight this um let's put it at like level two because i think i'll probably be okay at this Get an unfathomable amount of stars. Let's just pick. This one looks good. So this links to some various Twitter things. And then once you've got a link to Twitter here, you click on the little uh, thing here, which opens up. Oh, dear. So uh, that's a problem. I had that a couple of weeks ago, or even like a, a week and a half ago. Uh, not a lot of fun. Um, though, as I said, I got, got tested and it's fine. So what you got to do is... Create a, uh, like a region. Well, I'll, I'll just, let's see. So it's like you've got these colored regions, uh, no, these numbered regions here. These numbered regions can't touch each other. So we can just put a black square in between them because they can't touch each other. And then all the black squares have to be able to touch each other um, by touch each other's sides and stuff like that. So they can go like this all around here, um, like that. So they can touch the sides here or touch the sides up here and here. But what they can't do is like just have these straggly bits off here and here or, or just complete uh, separate parts like that. So they've all got to be connected to each other, all the black parts have. Um, here yeah, and I said the, these numbers here show how many island or how many the cells are on these islands. Uh, so we can tell since all these black ones have to touch each other, that one has to come out of here, and then we can like mark these as being part of this island here because you know otherwise there uh, there would be problems there. And this is maybe a little bit more involved than I was kind of hoping. But no, actually, this is actually not too much of a problem. You can see here, there's six here. This six can't really go anywhere else other than here so oh gosh so i said let's go goodbye but okay <laughs> good luck or something i don't know <laughs> and let me put this all in here um so obviously these bits have got to get you know out to these other black parts so they've got to go out here um let me see so this part obviously can only come up to here or up to here or down to here so it's kind of like we'll be stuck into 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 this kind of area so it has to kind of come out here obviously that's six but obviously there's, they, they can't all be filled in here but these two have to be filled in here so those have to do there and these can't connect to each other and such like that this one can't come down here because it would block all uh the these in the corner so we couldn't get an island with eight. Oh dear <laughs> uh there and then these will come out here that'll be blocked off they'll come out here and what's this? One, two, three, four, five. That comes across here. 
and that'll be in the way six there so that wouldn't come across here and i can try and explain these uh later if, if people want to but i just want to try and get this done quickly so you got one two three four five uh those would be stuck in if that couldn't go out like that six seven eight and they can't go like that here trap one in the corner so this has to come out here this still has to come oh gosh hang on let's go back I kind of had a bit of an explosion there uh there so that's now six in there uh once again one two three four five six but those couldn't be there or there so that has to be like that that has to be like that that has to be like that um let's see this six now there's three four five so this one has to be an exit here and this one has to be an exit there because otherwise it couldn't do anything and this kind of like says this can't go up oh, can't go up there that has to go across there that has to go across there this creates a, a region around here with islands so if this went like this this would trap this uh, area of black squares in here so this has to be able to come out of there this has to come out there that has to go across there there. that can't do that that has to go there that has to go there i don't know what you're trying to say there um let me see let's see so this is connected to the edge here obviously this has to be able to escape out of here that has to go there that has to go no, that has to go there that has to go there that has to go there that has to go like that that has to go like that that can't go like that that goes like that that goes like that that uh, no, it's that one there. Uh, oh yes, it's three already, so that has to be blocked in like that. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Funny enough, this is not Minesweeper. Um, that has to go in like that, but I can see where it looks similar. Uh, what's this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven has to go out here. That has to go there. That has to go there. That has to go there. One, two, three, four, five, six to here. That all filled in like that. Um, gosh, now what? Well, what we've got here, one, two, three, four, five. You can hear my voice going, I need to stop after this. <laughs> this goes up here like this. This has to come down here, which will then obviously create a, a, a big link around here. So let's not, ook, let's not do that. And that has to go across here. So that has to go all the way out here. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that has to do that. Um, and then what? This goes across here. Um... Oh, because the another thing which we haven't used here is if this goes across here, this will correct a two by two black region, which we can't have. Uh, we can never make two by two black regions. So this would have to come down here. That would have to do that. Uh, and so since we can't create two by two black regions here, those have to go there and that has to go there. And we are complete. Ah, so, yeah, so there, there's uh, this database thing here, which has got a lot of different things here. And so they kind of, just have uh, new ones kind of added all the time and stuff like that of various different types of puzzles and stuff because these are people posting them on twitter and and various other things these are mostly twitter but this is like from some other blog or whatever but yeah so there's a there's kind of fun and once i, oops, I get some practice at doing uh yes um either when i watch this back i won't be i'll remember or just remind me after the stream uh to do so or send me a, a ping now on, on on messenger so i can i can get that sent to you but yeah so um that is quite good um you might have to look up to the some of the instructions for some of them sometimes they do come with the instructions uh, with them but other times i couldn't find out where uh to, to do something yes links and whatever there's actually a uh, puzzle type called slither link which you know kind of more snaky than um octopusy but you know it, it works uh pretty good there um if we go back here oh no i got rid of it didn't i actually did i and uh, no no there it is so it's, it's kind of octopus like but these are more like, like islands it's supposed to look like so these are here are the islands and these are like the, the seas all connected together outside of these islands and stuff like that um but yes i should go <sighs> yeah because i i i've been ill kind of out of practice of this and whatever so yeah um uh, thank you everybody for, for joining me for stream today i uh, hope to see you next time we're going to do like a short outro thing um we can do that one for, for fun why not 
Um, I do a short outro, I say goodbye, and hopefully, hopefully I'll be feeling okay on, well, I don't want to guarantee anything. So we'll say maybe, just maybe Sunday, but hopefully sometime next week, if not. <laughs> and hopefully sometime next week, if. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, sh I should stop now because I can definitely feel my voice starting to to go. So thank you very much for coming by today. And I, once again, as always, shall see you next time. Bye-bye.